Today, we're going to connect one of our website forms to Customer.io using Customer.io's custom forms. Let's get into it. Forms are found in integrations. So if I open up, if I expand the navigation here, and I come down to data and integrations, I'll select integrations. Uh, Customer.io lists out all your integrations here. So I'm going to search for forms, and I'm brought here. Now, Customer.io uses other vendors forms you can't really create a form like you would in hubspot so they want you to use some other uh, some other platform or some other software which is fine i actually think it makes it more nimble and it's okay so there's a couple out of the box options that they give you like type form drop form and facebook but we're going to use a custom form and we're going to connect it to this form i've got on a card site which is just like a native custom form on card. We're going to select custom form. And the first thing it wants you to do is scan your, out, scan your URL. So the way this custom form integration works is you give it the page that you want, that your form lives on. And then you're going to put some JavaScript on that page that looks at the form. And when that data is submitted, it pulls all the data as well and puts it into customer IO. Okay. So I'm going to take my URL where this form lives, that specific page, come back, put it in, and it's going to scan. So it pulls in the form, it pulls up the label, it pulls up all of the fields associated with the form, and then drops a name in here for it. Move along, choose your form, and you know, it'll make sure that you map the form fields that you have in your form to any attributes you have in customer IO. And then at that point, we will set it up. So it gives you this little success window, and then it gives you the JavaScript. So what you need to do then is take this, and it says you can add it to the header body of the page where your form is located. So we'll go ahead and do that. So in my case, I'll come over here to my page editor, and I put just like an embed HTML sort of cord block, and I dumped the code in there. So then, with that done, the form is essentially connected. It is mapped, and it will turn green as soon as somebody submits the form. So in, it's essentially in a ready state at this point, and we'll eventually move it into a connected state once data comes passing in. So you add the JavaScript in. You'll test submitting the form. That data should pass into customer.io. And you're good to go. So, till next time.